Hello everyone. In our Sienna Mini Camper, we've been using Jackery 1000. It's an all-in-one unit. It has the built-in charge controller and AC inverter. It has 1000 uh, watt hour. It's very convenient. Uh, we really like it. Uh, of course, uh, it's, it has the noisy fan. Everybody knows it. Now, when Jackery announced their 1500 uh, battery, we, I, I was uh, very interested. Besides its uh, much higher capacity, uh, 1500 versus uh, 1000, it also has the dual uh, input. Okay, instead of uh, just like a Jaguar 1000, it accepts only one input at a time, even though it has two ports. For Jaguar 1500. It's true dual import. Another thing is, uh, uh, Jaguar said uh, they improved the charging efficiency by 30%. That uh, will be a big advantage over the Jaguar 1000 because in our mini camper, we have only one solar panel on roof. So if the charging efficiency can be this much uh, improved, uh, which means we can reduce the charging time and uh, extract more solar power. Uh, well, for the Jaguar 1500, it's now 33 pounds instead of the Jaguar 1000. It, uh, this one, 1000, has only 22 pounds. It's uh, much heavier, but it is still manageable. Uh, I'm going to show a couple of comparisons between Jackery 1000 versus Jackery 1500. One is that the uh, car 12 volt charging, when we use car 12 volt charging, uh, what would happen on Jackery 1000 and what would uh, happen on Jackery 1500. That's number one. Number two, I want to show when we use only one solar panel, one solar panel, what is the charging efficiency between the two? And uh, lastly, I want to show uh, the dual charging uh, capability of this uh, uh, Jaguar 15000 or 1500. Uh, in my case, I'm, I don't have uh, four solar panels uh, like they show in their commercials. Uh, they uh, connect two at each other and then uh, input. In my case, I want to test uh, what would happen if I have one solar panel and at the same time I have uh, the car 12 volt DC charging. Okay, so these are the things I want to show. The first test I want to show is uh, to emulate the car. Uh, 12 volt DC charging uh, the battery. So when I we, we'll be using Jackery uh, 1000, and if we charge from a 12 volt DC, which I emulate because this is a 12 volt output, so we can see here how much input it can get from the DC 12 volt DC 83. 84. So I would say it's average about 83 watts. Okay, so that is for Jackery 1000. If I charge using the 12 volt uh, DC vehicle power, DC power, it only accepts 83 watts. Okay, now let's see what would happen on the Jackery 1500. Okay. So I output DC 12 volt from Jackery 1000 and let's see what will happen here. So 103, 105, 105, 104. So let's say 104, okay? So comparing these two, uh, the Jackery 1500 can accept 20 watts more 
then the jackery 1000 which is pretty good the next thing I want to show is uh, to see compare these two the charging efficiency I have a 190 watt uh, single solar panel outside uh, in my backyard and I wired so it comes in from this uh, uh, the plug and Anderson connector because uh, Jackery 1000 accept this Anderson connector so if I plug in uh, right now it's about uh, in the afternoon 2.45 p.m. Hundred twenty four, hundred twenty five. Let's say hundred twenty four on average. Okay. So that what will happen here? Since I've tested uh, many many times, I can tell you uh, what to look for. So it goes up to about hundred ten, hundred eleven. Then the MPPT uh, indicator will. Uh, come up and it will start from low again from the lower 70s now it climb up very slowly okay very slowly but it's under this uh, MPPT uh, charge 103, 104 then the MPPT will go out go off yeah it will start all over again so it will settle right now is about uh, in this case so 106 yeah between 106 and 107 let's say 107 so this is a sort of a weird behavior for this charge controller now comparing these two this is about 124 so here is about 106 so it's about 18 watts uh, less uh, under the same charging condition okay the same solar solar panel and uh, instead of as they claimed 30 percent uh, improved charging efficiency the new jackery one uh, 1500 when when we use one single solar panel this is a 190 watt single panel the charging efficiency actually is lower by 10 to 15 percent Okay, it's uh, quite disappointing. I also tested on a 110 watt solar panel on top of my Sienna minivan. The findings are similar, though the difference is smaller. And uh, I contacted uh, Jackery technical support uh, uh, regarding this issue. Uh, they are very, very responsive and they confirmed the same uh, observation, which uh, as I observed, so I believe I believe uh, it may be a firmware issue um, though they said they are going to uh, work on it uh, but there is no timeline when they will fix uh, this issue okay uh, again this is a single solar panel if you have uh, set up like uh, Jackery's commercial you have multiple solar panels uh, you may not see this uh, issue okay so this is the charging efficiency uh, testing I want to show so the last testing I want to show is uh, to see the dual uh, charge capability under a different source. Uh, instead of you have symmetrical uh, four solar panels, uh, uh, dual charge at the same time, uh, I want to emulate uh, what would happen when we travel on the road with our Sienna Mini Camper, uh, which has one solar panel and uh, has the available uh, vehicle 12 volt DC. Okay. So I output the 12 volt DC from Jackery 1000. Okay, the input. Uh, here we still have the uh, external uh, solar panel. It's 190 watt solar panel. So right now, it, right now we have two uh, input. Okay. One is from solar panel, the other is uh, 12 volt DC. So it's about over 210 watt. Okay, so which is about uh, about right because the solar panel 
uh, generate uh, about 106 and for this one is also about uh, 106, 107 so adds together uh, a little bit over 210 watt okay so it's really uh, a dual charging uh, and it can accept uh, different input instead of symmetrical which is very useful uh, for our case so this is the uh, dual charging uh, capability testing except for this charging efficiency uh, issue I really uh, like this um, uh, Jacquery 1500 I don't know when uh, they will fix this problem uh, when we are not traveling I use this battery together with the, uh, the solar panel in our backyard uh, to power uh, small uh, appliances uh, like the uh, water, water kettle, uh, pressure cooker, egg cooker, and I have another rice cooker. So the battery will never get rested. So when we are on the road, it will be used in the vehicle. When we are not traveling, we use it at home. Okay. Well, that's it for this uh, little uh, review of this Jackery 1500. It's a very good unit. Uh, I hope uh, Jackery will fix this uh, charge efficiency problem uh, soon. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.